All right, let me see if I've got everything set up. Make sure everything is going well. I think I've got it up and running. Okay. Looks like we're good. Let me just hit this mute button. All right, happy Sunday night. This is Tara with Tara Beth Stamps. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator here in mid-Missouri. And tonight we're going to do a card using Night Divine. If you jump on, give me a shout out. Let me know that you're here watching. That would be awesome. So this is the card today. This is a faux sidestep card. So using the Night Divine set. So this is one of those cards that's great for standing on the mantle. Um... So I, I love to send Christmas cards specifically that people can save, that they can set on a mantle. So this is what we're doing tonight and let's get started. So I'm gonna set this out of the way. So first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna bring out our paper trimmer. So the great thing about the Stampin' Up! paper trimmer is it not only trims paper, but it also scores as well. So what I have here tonight is I have a five and a half by eight sheet of Night of Navy. And we're gonna score this in three different places. So with the Stampin' Up! trimmer and um, score, I'm gonna bring up my score uh, to the top. Hey Rosie, thanks for joining. And we are gonna score at let me see here. We're going to score at, I better do it the way I have it in the blog. That way I don't mess it up. We're going to score it at three. Hey, Susan. Hey, Karen. Thanks for joining. We're going to score it at six. And I've extended this arm out. And we are going to score it at seven. All right. So... The reason I'm using the paper trimmer is we're gonna use it a little bit tonight. Hey Amy, thanks for joining. This is a three and a quarter by six sheet of Night of Navy, and we are gonna score that at four and a quarter. So for those people joining me to, uh, just now, we are doing a faux sidestep with the Night of Night Divine set. So we're gonna set these here, and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring out a piece of six by six um, of uh, the whole uh, Oh Holy Night DSP. And I wanted to show you guys how I cut this so that if you wanna do this, you can. So you're gonna be adhering this to this portion so that you see the night skyline. Um, and if you cut it at the dimensions, you're not gonna get this. So we're gonna have to trim some at the top and some at the bottom. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna kinda eyeball this and see where I'm gonna set that line so that I have a little bit of skyline that you can see the, the buildings. So we'll go ahead and cut that there and then we're gonna cut that at, then we're gonna flip it around and cut the bottom off at two and seven eighths. Hey Mary, thanks for joining. So this is how I created my skyline. Now I see here, I've got the, the buildings over here. So I'm gonna cut off of this end and I'm gonna cut that at five and three eighths. All right, so I wanted to show how you got, how we got that piece um, because I didn't want you to, to cut it out and go, hey, this isn't working the same. All right, so now we'll move that paper trimmer out of the way. All these dimensions will be available on my blog tomorrow. So as I said, we're doing that faux side step. So I'm gonna fold this at the large fold line. So this is at the three, that's gonna be my mountain. I'm gonna fold this back and this is gonna be our valley. And then I'm gonna flip it over and that doesn't look right. Did I not cut this right? Oh, I didn't take my half off. Okay, so I'm gonna have to take a half off. Hey Sue, thanks for joining. I bet I cut the other one and put it up at the top. <laughs> That'll be a surprise when I go to make a card base and it's only eight inches wide, because I know that I cut that. All right, so there's our card base. So we'll just do a little adhering. 
And we've got some interesting things going on. Stampin' Up's uh, New Year began today. So, today? Yesterday. Today? Yesterday. I think it was today. This weekend's gone by so fast, I don't even know. So, we have a joining special, which is pretty groovy. So, be on the lookout on my blog and my Facebook. Um, to see that information later this week. It starts on Wednesday, I believe, which is the third. Okay, so I'm just taking another piece of that Oh Holy Night DSP and adhering it down to the bottom. So this is our card base, essentially. So this is a gorgeous card to sit on a mantle, um, which is what I love for Christmas because I want those family members and friends to be able to post. Um to put that card out there for everybody to see. Okay, so I have a thin strip of the sand DSP that we're gonna just put on the bottom, just because I'm weird about cards that um, just kind of have things floating in the air. I don't know if you guys are think about that when you see things like that, but I, I don't, I want it like a, a vehicle on a road. I want, um, I don't think like things just floating in the air. Okay, so I cut that super long. I'm just gonna take my paper snips and clip that off. Throw it away and put my liquid adhesive up. I don't use liquid adhe adhesive a lot um, just because it gets it's sticky and now I've got a spot on my paper that's gonna be sticky. So that's why I prefer the stamp and seal. But when I use say adhesive, I usually it usually doesn't matter what whether you use liquid or whether you use a seal of some sort. Okay, so we're gonna adhere that on, and now we're gonna go ahead and add this to the base. Now this is an adhesive that I would recommend. So this is Stampin' Up Tear Tape, and I feel like it's a little stronger when you have fun fold cards. Um, so I usually use that. Okay. I'm gonna Peel this off here. Stick that to the side. And then I'm gonna put this one on this end, I think. I'm gonna put it opposite, just because, oh well, no, we'll go ahead and put it on there. We'll just pull it out a little bit. So what I'm being careful of is as I'm placing that tear tape is that I, because once it sticks, it's stuck. So I'm making sure I get it lined up right here at the bottom. Okay, now what makes this a faux step, uh, faux step one is that it, you're not really cutting and making it like a sidestep card. So we are gonna take so another piece of tear tape. And this is a cool card because it'll stand up for your recipient, but it'll fold flat and mail perfectly. And because I haven't put a whole lot of layers on it, I don't think it'll take extra postage which is something kind of unusual. Hey, Denise, thanks for joining. All right, so I've got this folded down flat, and now I'm just gonna fold this back piece and seal it right there. So that is gonna give us our card base. Can, can you guys see that, how it's gonna sit like this? I guess, let me turn it around, you're not upside down. It'll sit like this, it'll fold flat for a card, or, you know, that's the, oh, the the view from the top. So pretty cool, I think. So th this is just about done. There's not a whole lot. This one's a really easy one that we're gonna put together. Okay, I went ahead and cut out a piece of the nativity scene. This is from the Night Divine set, here it is. These dies are stunning. Abs they have beautiful texture, everything you do with them. I've only cut them in black. I'm thinking about doing a card like this with the Knight of Navy har, uh, stars like this, and then do this in um, very vanilla. I think that'll be stunning. Or you could do it in that distressed gold too. That would be cool too. So, tons of ideas you can get. Do the same card, just do it in different um, patterns. Thank you, Rosie, for the shout out on my YouTube. I appreciate it. All right, so now what I have is I have some black mini dimensionals. I keep these around 
um, because I do like it when I'm doing a dark card like this. And it's not like people can really see the white dimensionals underneath, but sometimes when they're sideways and whatnot, I think they photograph better and they do look nicer if you've got the black ones. And I mean, it's not like you're not gonna use dimensionals. So a pack of black ones lasts me about a year, whereas, you know, a pack of white ones, well, it kind of depends on how, how quick I lose them. All right, there we go. So I've got that sitting up there, giving that just a little bit of dimension. Now what I've done is I've taken the, I think it's the second smallest. Yep, the second smallest die from the nested essentials and I die cut a piece of Knight of Navy and then I stamped it with a Versamark and I um, heat embossed it with gold. But I didn't figure you guys wanted to watch me do that, so. Now I used this online exclusive gold ribbon on the corner of this one, but I think we're gonna use some simply elegant trim on this one. I love this gold stuff. Denise, it is a beautiful die set, and the, the whole suite is perfect. It really is. All right, we're just going to do some looping here. And that's kind of what you have to do with this ribbon. And it does ha kind of have, or twine, kind of has a mind of its own, but that's okay. So we're going to do that. Maybe do a smaller one. There we go. We'll call that good. All right, give that a little snip. I'm kind of hurrying tonight because the Chiefs are play on, on TV right now. And now I've always been a Chiefs fan, not just since Kelsey and Taylor are dating. I don't know if you guys, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> Ooh, I'm really glad I had that water in here. <coughs> I've got some dimensionals here. I'm using the black ones again. <coughs> See what I mean about this ribbon having, or twine having a mind of its own? It's just going to pop up and keep going. All right, so we're going to put this on the front. Ooh, I like it with the twine better than the ribbon. What do you guys think? Ribbon or twine, ribbon or twine. So I've got the ribbon down here in the corner. I'm going to go with the twine. I really like that. And I like it offset a little bit better. All right. The last thing we need to do. Here is a piece of um, two and seven eighths by five and three eighths. Very vanilla. And we're going to stamp it with a sentiment from <coughs> Night Divine. I've got a little bit of Night and Navy ink here. We're going to ink it up. I'm going to line it up. Hold my breath. Since this is a cling stamp. And I'm happy with that. <coughs> I'm with you guys. I like the twine better too. I'm glad it was sitting on my desk. I just got you done using it with something else today. All right. I'm just going to do a little bit of the stars here. And this is so that you have a little bit of area for you to go ahead and um, sign your name and add a little sentiment on the back. <coughs> wow, I'm really sorry. Ooh, I knew this was going to happen, but I came prepared. I got a new one. I, I, I did this right before I went live. I was like, mm, I just don't know if that's going to make it. So we're going to add this to the back. Because it's that faux side step, it's not, it doesn't really open very well. So you can kind of see, oh, it's not terrible. <coughs> but there we go. There's tonight's card. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to add a little bit of DSP to a very van vanilla envelope. And we might stamp some stars on there. <coughs> I'm so glad you guys are loving this. I'll be honest, this set I really liked from the very beginning, but then once I got it in the mail, I was a little intimidated by that. And it's not unusual for me to, to get a little in my head about things and think that I can't use them. 
But once I started, me and the court cards are just pouring out. I made one for Saturday that I did a reel with, and I absolutely loved it. But I think the brightly shining, <coughs> is it brightly shining or shining brightly? I always say it wrong. <coughs> it's just gorgeous. All right, let's do a few stars here. Just for fun. I'll do some there. Some there. Just put a little, little cluster of stars there in the corner. All right, so there's today's card. Thank you so much for joining me on another Sunday night. Yeah, Susan, go Chiefs. <coughs> I'm glad you enjoyed the card. I'll see you back here next Sunday night. Same time, same place. Have a great week.